All right, everybody, Scott brought me a project. This is a Johnson Messenger. They called these the white face. It is a five channel CB, and they used to use these in the taxi service. Well, he bought this on eBay for $12, right? Yep. Quite the deal. So the question is, is does it work at all, okay? And then the other question would be is, how do we use this transmitter or transceiver now? It would be worthless to use it as a CB, but this could be converted to a cool 10 meter AM transmitter and run a separate receiver with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out these old crusty filter caps because I've already tested them and they are bad. And then we're gonna apply power and see if it operates at all and we'll go from there. All right, we replaced all the filter caps, brought the unit up on a variac, and it wasn't drawing excessive current, so I figured it's okay to test it. So we have the radio on. This is my volume. There's no volume. Squelch does nothing. So we have no audio output, but the question would be, if I key it, do we have RF output? And if this microphone's any good, we'd actually see some modulation. So here we go. So you can see I'm putting out about four watts. No signs of modulation. And when it modulates, that red light would normally flicker. We get a slight flicker when we key it, but no signs of modulation, no audio output. So that could be a problem in the audio output section of the radio because that same transformer for audio out is also used for the modulator. Hopefully that transformer isn't smoked, but at least the radio has output. So we're trying to see if we can inject some audio and possibly get this thing to modulate. So I have a little Heathkit AF generator. Now I can crank it up, you can hear it out of the speaker slightly key in it, but there is no deflection on the watt meter showing modulation. So the modulation section is obviously dead. Well, it looks like the little messenger needs a little bit more than what you'd expect from a $12 radio. I'm kind of shocked. I thought that that thing would work like new, man. <laughs> Look good underneath. So we're going to regroup and talk this over and see if it's even worth pursuing. All right, here's an update on the Johnson Messenger, we did a little probing around and actually found a bad Black Beauty cap. So I'm going to hook up my meter, and Scott's going to put that meter into the camera so you can see it. There is the resistance across the Black Beauty cap. You see about 32k ohms, and that was pulling down. You can take that, out there. <laughs> that was pulling down the high voltage. To the modulator tube killing the audio and killing the modulation. So we swapped this out and guess what? We got audio. And in a minute we'll check the modulation. So how we determined that 0.1 microfarad cap was causing the loss of modulation and audio, here is a 370 volt line that comes up and goes to the plate of that 6AW8A tube you can see they show 130 and 350 volts depending on mode. We only had 20 volts DC. Measuring here, we had the 370, but on the other side, it was down to 20. So there he is, the cap pulling the power supply down. All right, guys, here we go. I have a Kenwood R2000 monitoring 27.085, which is channel 11. And that is the crystal that's in the messenger. Got our watt meter. So first, with the R2000 down, watch the watt meter. And you see the modulation light on the messenger doing its thing. So now, let's listen to that audio on the R2000. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, one, two, there it is. So the little Johnson messenger is talking. Sounds pretty good and I'm amazed that this original microphone is still working. So we're getting somewhere. The next step is we're gonna convert this to 10 meter AM and put her on the air. 
Well, that's a wrap to the video. The little messenger looks like it has a future to be a 10 meter AM rig. And then after the cycle dies, we may modify it and turn it into a 40 meter AM rig. In the Bahamas. Hey, Ken, I'm coming on the Bahamas. I'm coming on the south side in the Bahamas.